Hey guys, I'm Dr. Angel Storm. I'm the founder of Ashes to Beauty Ministries and today I want to give you some of the most common lies that narcissists will tell you. The first one of these is that I would never lie to you. Narcissists are notorious liars. They can't help but lie. In fact, they'll do anything that they can to keep a constant supply of energy coming in. And so they will tell you the most outrageous lies. They will lie straight to your face and not even blink an eye, including I would never lie to you. All of us cannot keep that promise and most of us would be honest about the fact that I will try my hardest, I will do my best, but I don't know that I would never lie to you. If you're a trustworthy person, this is actually going to create cognitive dissonance in you because you're going to find that their words and their actions, they don't line up and you're going to be wondering what's going on. The second lie that the narcissist is going to tell you is that he or she was obsessed with me. Oh, she was so obsessed with me, she, she would do all of this crazy stuff and he'll tell you these insane stories and you'll think, wow, that person really was crazy. They were obsessed with you. They want you to know how valuable they were, how wanted they were, and they also want you to know that it's not their fault for whatever happened. It was the other person's fault. They were the ones who were obsessed with the narcissist. The third lie the narcissist is going to tell you is that no matter what's going on, the reason that he didn't answer the phone, the reason that he didn't get back to you is because he was hanging out with friends. This lie does two things. First of all, it gives him a reasonable excuse for why he didn't show up to the thing that you had counted on him to go to, but also it tells you that he has lots of friends. He has a big support system. You are expendable. You can come and go and it's not going to phase the narcissist. Number four. I'm just so busy right now. This is a lie that the narcissist is going to tell you once you've been hanging out quite often, frequently, you've gotten into even a schedule or a pattern of how often you see him or talk to him. And then he's going to say, I'm just so busy right now, I don't know that I can come to the next thing that you want me to come to. What the narcissist is actually saying to you is that you're a transition target, that the narcissist has already fixated on another target and that He's going to keep you hanging on just in case he needs your supply of energy, but he already has another target that he's focused on and he's going to be investing more time there. The fifth lie the narcissist is going to tell you is that you guys have so much in common. This is not a coincidence. This is not a crazy scenario. This is very calculated by the narcissist. The narcissist will do this in order to draw you in, especially when you first met or when you're first connecting to a narcissist. They are going to love everything that you love. They like everything you like. They've done everything you've done. And you guys just have so much in common. This is a very calculated move by the narcissist meant to create a false bond. Something that you think you guys have in common that's a solid foundation is actually a mirage. The sixth lie the narcissist is going to tell you is that he's just checking in. This will be common once he's disappeared, once he's ghosted you for a few days and you're wondering what the heck happened. You've got all of the scenarios running through your head. You're wondering what you did. You're wondering what you could have done. And then all of a sudden he's just going to call you and say, I'm just checking in. This is a lie. He's not just checking in. He's making sure that you're still on the hook. He wants to make sure that he still has you right where he wants you. The seventh lie that the narcissist is going to tell you is that his ex was so dishonest that the ex lied, they cheated, they did all of the things that in fact the narcissist did. A narcissist is a master projector and they are master storytellers. They know how to weave the story perfectly so that it's believable and there's enough truth in it because these things actually did happen. It's just that the narcissist was the one doing them. And they do this so that you again feel safe with them, that you trust them, that you also feel sympathy and sorry for them. This guy's just so misunderstood. Oh, this guy's had a bad run of it. When in fact, this guy is a very dangerous person. The eighth lie that the narcissist is going to tell you is that when he does something, he's going to say, I'm sorry, this is just not who I am, I'm truly sorry, when in fact he's just revealed to you his true colors. This is going to happen especially when he's done something so outrageous, even your friends and family are like, get away from this guy, he is a narcissist, he is not the one for you, you need to leave him. And he's going to make you think that this was just a one-time situation, that it won't happen again, that who he truly is is the words that he's been saying to you and not the actions that he's been doing. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know about cognitive dissonance and how this creates a trauma bond with the narcissist and his victim. And this is exactly what he's doing. He's further deepening that bond that you have to him and that you are always going to go to his words first and not his actions. 
So those eight lies are all for this video. There are many, many more out there, but I just wanted to give you some of the most common lies that a narcissist will tell. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel below.